Hey everybody, let's talk about this D23 special look at the Rise of Skywalker. So I think Disney did a really fantastic job summarizing the the entirety of the Star of the Star Wars saga as we've seen it so far. We got we got the original trilogy, then we got the prequel trilogy, and then we've got what we've seen of uh, of the sequel trilogy. Um, so with that said, you know towards the end of this of this footage that they put together. Uh, we get a few new, a few scenes, I don't know if they were new, but a few scenes from Rise of Skywalker, and then we get to what I think we're all expecting to see, which, or we, we all were expecting to see, which is the, the battle, the fight between Kylo Ren and Rey. Um, now, me personally, I'm, I'm liking what they've done with with the entire sequel trilogy so far. Uh, I like The Force Awakens uh, as a, yes, I, I, I know it's a more of a, uh, a New Hope redux, um, but I liked it because I felt it was a better way of introducing a new generation to the Star Wars, Star Wars saga than, than the prequels were. Um, I am not a big fan of the prequels. I, in fact, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars in general. Um, I've seen uh, the original trilogy movies probably millions of times. I did not like the prequels very much though. Uh, I felt that they detracted a lot from what made the originals um, so good. Uh, but I have been a pretty big fan of what they've done with the new movies. Uh, I like The Force Awakens. I like The Last Jedi, not to the same extent, but I like The Last Jedi. Um, in fact, I liked a lot of the stuff where that they that they did to Luke. A lot of people were like, "Oh, they made, they 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 like destroyed Luke, and they, they kind of did this and this and this." Well, I actually like what they did with Luke. Anyway, moving on. So I'm liking what they're doing with this. I like the fact that Rey, so far, her parents are according to according to Kylo Ren, her parents were nothing. They were they were nobodies. They have no connection with the Force, nothing like that. I, I like that. Uh, I like that because, in my opinion, it expands the Star Wars universe. It makes it grow um, with the original trilogy and with the prequel trilogies. Um, the Star Wars universe was quite small. Um, everybody, everybody that was involved, it was a small group of people from a, few, a, a very few number of planets. Uh, you know, just when you think somebody might not really have any connection to somebody else, boop, here's a, here's a connection and we're going to make this connection. Um, like to give you a perfect example, when Yoda climbs off Chewbacca's back at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith, I felt it was completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary that Yoda, Yoda doesn't need to know who Chewie is. They just, it did, didn't need to happen. It was there to offer a connection to uh, some of the characters in the original trilogy. So the fact that Ray doesn't seem to have any connection to anyone in, um, in the original trilogy or even in the prequel trilogy, I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. Uh, and I hope it stays that way. I hope this isn't like, well, you know, it's going to turn out that he lied and she's going to be related to Obi-Wan or something. I've read plenty of theories on the internet. I hope that it just stays the way it is and continues to expand the Star Wars galaxy. Um, so, so we get to see her battle with, uh, with Kylo. I think that's great. And then the next scene, I, I can't remember exactly the next scene, if there, if there was one in between, but then at some point it fades to black. You hear the emperor's voice, uh, and then they, it comes back. We get the flash of the saber, lightsaber, and we see Ray's face. Uh, now, in my opinion, this footage looks different from all the other footage we've ever seen. It almost looks like maybe it's a vision, um, but I think her double-bladed lightsaber in this scene looks great. <laughs> you know, it, it has that pivoting spot in the middle where it kind of locks, so it looks like it can be maybe used as like a, a double blade, but all up in the same direction. And then it, it, obviously we see it can spin out and lock into place as an extended, as more of an extended staff weapon. So I think it's better than Darth Maul's was in that, in that respect. Um, but I do think that this is a vision of maybe one, uh, maybe a possible future 
for her. You know, who knows, maybe she'll be fighting uh, Kylo and she'll get to that point where she's going to, she can win, she could kill him, but she has to decide, is that what I'm going to do? Because if she does, you know, that's probably falling to the dark side. Um, and if it's not a vision, maybe she goes to the dark side for a little while as kind of a, a way to fool the emperor. Uh, I know that they did that with um, the Dark Empire series of comics where Luke kind of, he went to the dark side, um, but he did it as a way of trying to fool the emperor. Um, and of course, at the end of that series, when he said, you know, I never really went to the, to the dark side, the emperor says, oh, I know. And that's when they have their, their final battle in that series. Um, so, but this, this footage, I, I, li I love this footage, you know. Um, I was really excited to see it. Uh, I can't wait to see more. I am, though, staying away from any kind of uh, leaks or anything like that. Uh, but, but let me know what you guys think about this footage. How, what do you think about it? Uh, what do you, you know, s suspect is going to happen? Any speculation on your part? Uh, let me know if you like the footage. Anything, if, even if you don't like these new movies, let me know if you think I'm full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> because I like The Last Jedi and I like the way things are going. Um, so yeah, comment below. Uh, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.